What's up guys, Kiko here today bringing you guys another awesome review of some toys that I got out of the Power Ranger lot that you guys might have seen in a previous video. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll link it down in the description below. So today we're going to be taking a look and reviewing uh, one of my favorite Zords from, orig uh, from the original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger series. It came on later on in the series. It's the Ninja Zord, the Falcon Zord, and together the Ninja Mega Falcon Zord. Let's get into it, guys. All right, guys, so here we are today. I'm going to be doing uh, the review, like I said, of the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Ninja Falcon Zord. Um, do the individual Zords first, and then I'll go ahead and get to the Falcon Zord and then combine them for you guys. So uh, for those of you guys who saw my um, video of the really awesome lot that I picked up, uh, you would know that I was able to pick up all five of these guys down here. I already had the Falcon Zord, which was really cool. Um, these are the original toys. These aren't any remakes or anything like that. So they are old. Um, I actually could go through and clean these up a bit. Uh, so this is not the overall best set that you're going to see in terms of uh, you may see another person review and their toys look brand new. Maybe they've had it new in box or something. Um, this one has definitely been played with, but it it's still in actually really good condition. I was very impressed with all the joints for the most part. And... Um, I uh, really liked this figure overall. So first of all, we'll start off with the red uh, ranger figure. We have the ape here. Red ape, ninja zone, power up! Um, he's pretty, uh, you know, stationary. They pretty much just, uh, you have this rotation here all the way around the arm. Uh, nothing in the legs here. Um, he is pretty cool looking. You have some cool uh, detailing here on the face. Uh, the little chest plate here looks pretty nice, still has good paint on it all the way down here around his boots. Um, on the back side here is the peg, he will become, uh, well actually, uh, for those of you who don't know, I won't say what parts he will become, uh, just make you sit around and guess, haha, <laughs> just kidding, you probably already know. So next we're going to go to uh, one of the cooler looking ones, uh, in my opinion, uh, this whole set actually is filled with uh, some really cool Zords. Um, so here we have the Blue Rangers, uh, the Wolf. Blue Wolf Ninja Zord, power up! As you guys can see here, really nice detailing around the face. Uh, around here, the stickers, here the metallic part. His tail here does move. Uh, the legs do move forward this way. Nice ratcheting joints there. Uh, the front legs and uh, they come back, but that's about it. Uh, the mouth does open here, as you can see, and uh, you can see some nice detailing here around the face. Uh, so we will go ahead and put him back. Next, we're going to take a look at the bear. Uh, this is Aisha's uh, Zord, the Yellow Ranger. Yellow Bear! Ninja Zord, power up! <laughs> Uh, I am missing the metal piece that would end up going into the mouth. Um, I got this whole, actually I'll tell you at the end of the video what I got the whole Zord for, um, but just know it was a price that I was definitely okay uh, with not getting the metal piece here. So pretty nice, uh, stickers coming a little loose here, but not bad uh, overall. Um, guys, when you're getting this Zord, check out the arm joints. Mine are pretty tight, they're not too bad, but... Um, if you push the arms in here, you can see these parts here. You can tighten these up a little bit if you need to. Bear Zord, you can open the mouth here. Really good detailing here around the face. It's a pretty chunky Zord and a good size Zord. I really like the bear. Uh, next, we will go with the frog. This is Adam's uh, Black Ranger Zord here. Black Frog! Ninja Zord, power up! <laughs> Actually, my favorite Zord of the bunch. It's kind of funny, but I really ended up liking the frog. Um, this one could be, um, you know, cleaned up just a bit, just to make him a little less uh, dusty looking. But uh, you can see the front paws here, or the front legs do move. Uh, you have a little bit of movement here in the foot. Uh, really good detailing here on the face. The legs come back here. My legs on these could be a little tighter. I may try to uh, tighten the, some of the screws here. So I will not be transforming him a lot. Uh, once he is in the uh, mode, um, after I get done with this, that's probably how he'll go onto the shelf. Next here we have the pink uh, ranger, the uh, crane zord. Pink crane ninja zord, power up! Um, this is one of the not as good looking ones in my opinion, uh, but it is kind of neat. Um, 
if you're buying this person this one loose to try to get to complete your collection it's actually pretty expensive usually on eBay uh, 30 or so dollars which can pretty much stink that's that's not a lot of fun uh, the wings here do move in and out a little bit the head can move back and forth mainly for transformation purposes but not a bad looking Zord overall and uh, so with that guys I'm gonna go ahead and start combining we will come back to the Falcon Zord later uh, so the first thing we're going to do to start transforming is we are going to take the frog here and you're going to extend the legs all the way out like I said, trying to be careful with mine. He will become the actual legs of the Megazord. You'll bend him forward here, and then you will take his uh, front feet, put them straight down like this, and what happens is they tuck into these little cavities here. They'll go straight down in like that, and you just push and kind of make sure it's nice and secure. Set the feet up good, and level out the frog head, and you are good to go. So let me see if I can get it. Better shot of it. There we go. Uh, so next, what we're going to do is we're going to take the bear, and for the bears, pretty easy. We're going to take the paws, push them in, rotate them down into this little cavity here. Make sure they're pushed all the way down, and you're just going to chunk the bear in like this. Next, you're going to take the uh, legs here and fold them back. Now, when I first did this, I thought my legs here were really, really loose. These silver parts come to the front here, and I thought it was really, really loose. But all you really have to do is just Let's see. There you go. Just give it a nice little punch right here, and it'll snap right into place. Um, there would be this little metal bar that would go in the mouth of the bear, but I do not have it. We're going to leave the mouth open just a little bit. These tabs here are going to tab in right here on top of the frog. It's actually a really nice, secure fit. Um, it's not going anywhere, so I really do like that. All right, so now we're gonna start on the arms here. So we're gonna take the ape, uh, we're gonna put his arms down, turn him around, pull this door down in the back. If I can get it down. There we go, the arms will come with it here, so you may pull the arms back. Uh, when this door comes down, you're gonna take the arms, fold them into the back cavity right here. They're gonna go straight down, you're gonna fold it back up here. You're gonna take the body here, and you're gonna go chunk, and just put him down like that. And we can set him off to the side. Or actually, we won't set him up to the side. He is the left arm here, so we'll go ahead and punch him in right there. Uh, next, we're going to go with the wolf here. Uh, you're going to put his tail in the back there. You're going to put the legs, uh, the, back, the front legs are going to go back first, all the way down. They tuck up in here, up in here if you can see that. The back legs are now going to go in, and this is the right arm. Chunk. Going to go right into there. And then we're going to take the uh, crane sword here, if it'll focus in. Uh, you're going to put the wings back. You're going to just pull the head up like this. Make it here where it's flush, and it brings out the head. Pop the head right here on top. Chunk. And there you go, guys. You have the, uh, the ninja sword. And... The only thing that I am missing are there would be these two hand covers that would go over each side of the hands here that make little fists. Um, that that and the sword is all I'm missing, but those parts, uh, I looked all through the little lot area where I was and I could not find them anywhere, but uh, that was okay. Um, I'll end up getting them in the future, but I really, really do like this Zord. I think he is... Pretty neat looking. He was obviously the one in the movie, uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. I think he's just a really, really good looking Zord overall. Let's see if I can zoom out here enough. And I really do recommend picking this up if you can get it for a good price. Now, like I said, I already owned the Falcon Zord, which I will be showing here in a minute. All of these pieces I was able to find individually in a box at a toy store. Uh, this awesome toy store, I can't really say where because it's sort of my little honey hole. Uh, so I don't want um, to be giving that away necessarily. But I was able to find each and every one of these pieces. And uh, the owner was not an idiot or anything like that, not, nor would I think he was. Um, and he knew that these would combine to make this guy. And since it was missing the hand covers, the metal piece here, we decided on a price of $30, which I could not turn down. $30 was awesome for this. This is a... Uh, very nice Zord. He holds together very, very well. He's 
Um, really, really solid overall. The frog, the legs at the bottom could be a little bit better, but like I said, I'm going to work on those and I can always replace it with another frog in future. A power and a force that you've never seen before. No one can ever take them down. So next we get here to the White Ranger Zord, which was the uh, Falcon Zord. Ninja Falcon Zord, power up! Go, go, Probably my favorite uh, Zord as a kid as far as when I had him in toy form. This particular one is not amazing. Um, the paint and stickers are just a little bit worn, but I was uh, I actually got this Zord um, in a lot. Uh, basically I paid about $10 for the lot and it came with um, the main part of a Silver Titanus, uh, a box Target exclusive, um, uh, th uh, Tor, uh, the mini version that has the little uh, Dragon Zord and Tiger Zord with it, the little mini one, um, and a bunch of other things, uh, a, a white Tiger uh, Zord as well. So basically, this was almost like a you know a couple bucks, five bucks. Um, so what we have here is his feet do come down like this. They do have some good movement on him here. The wings can go up and down both ways. You can bring him here in this mode uh, with his little guns here. Uh, like you see him do during the movie, he comes in and takes out uh, the enemy here. A uh, really nice head here. The beak does open. Uh, very nice little touch there. And he's just a pretty overall really nice looking Zord. He can stand up on his own like this. Um, you know, that sort of idea. And what he would do is after this, uh, the Ninja Zord would fly together, or would come together, uh, the Falcon Zord would fly in, and this Zord here, the Ninja Zord, would jump up, and he would come in and combine with it. So he flies right back here. And it's kind of hard to see, but you're just going to chunk this right in the back here. It's a very, very nice fit, a very solid fit. And so what you end up getting is this right here. It adds a really nice balance to the Megazord. Uh, it really gives a nice look to it. And it really just sort of completes the look uh, on a shelf. So you want to take to the skies, do you? Well, I can do that. They what I like about it so much so when he takes off you know and he flies through looks really really awesome but really just sitting on a shelf it's one of the cooler looking Megazords from the earlier series um, in my opinion obviously he's not as iconic or anything as something like the Thunder Zord um, or the Megazord it's uh, the uh, the Dino Megazord um, or the Thunder Megazord, but he is really awesome. So guys, let me know what you think about this review. Yes, I am missing, uh, I think it's a sword and the two hand covers and everything, but the, what was so neat about this is it is a retro review. I was able to piece this together and uh, I may actually be able to get a box. Uh, he had a box as well and I'm gonna see if one day uh, he'll let me have it for a, a decent price. The box isn't the best uh, condition, but it is pretty neat. So, um, guys, just thumbs up the video if you liked it. Let me know what your favorite Megazord of all time is. Um, let me know if there's anything that you guys would like me to uh, review. I do have a bunch of other things from the lot that I opened of things I would like to review. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, please share this video with your friends. Uh, check me out on Facebook. Um, Twitter and Instagram links are going to be in the description below and uh, I am new to doing Power Ranger toy reviews so please uh, go subscribe if you guys have not done so I think you'll really enjoy the content that will be coming up um, I have a whole list uh, a whole group of things over here that I'm going to be going after er, and, and reviewing for you guys so I'll talk to you guys next time see ya